Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve this question from Crazy Book. So this is from problem set 6.2, question 1. So the question is solve the IVP by using Laplace transform. So this is the differential equation and the initial condition is y0 is equal to 0. First, I need to take a note first. This is from table 6.1 if I remember correctly. So here, if we have y prime t, the Laplace transform of it is s y s and then minus y0. Okay, and then here we have sine of 2t. So sine of a t or sine of omega t, I think, sine of omega t. If we transform this into Laplace domain or frequency domain as we usually call it, that is equal to omega over s square plus omega square. So if we have sine, I think it will be good to we have cosine. So cosine omega t that will transform to s over s square plus omega square. Okay, this is the Laplace transform of all that we need for this problem. I think let's move it to the right hand side so we have much more space. Okay, let's transform this into Laplace domain or frequency domain and then here we have y prime y prime if transformed into Laplace domain becomes s y s so I will have s y s and then minus y zero okay this is for y prime and then five point to y okay so I will have plus 5.2 this is yt but we transform it into Laplace domain so we will have ys okay and then that will equal to 19.4 multiplied by sine of 2t okay we can transform it into this but omega is 2 here right so we will have 2 here and then divided by s square plus omega square 2 squared is 4, so I will have it like this. And remember that we have y0 here is equal to 0, so this will cancel out. So we will have s y s here, and then plus 5.2 y s. And then for that, I will have 38. 0.8 divided by s squared plus 4. Okay, now let's isolate ys here. So I think I can take out s plus 5.2 multiplied by ys. And then on the right hand side, I will have 38.8 divided by s squared plus Okay, let's cross multiply. So I will have ys here and I will have 38.8 divided by s plus 5.2 and then multiplied by s squared plus 4. Okay, I think we need to do partial fraction decomposition. So we will have ys here is equal to a divided by s plus 5.2. And then here we will have plus, because this is s squared plus 4 and we cannot factorize that. I think it's better to have bs plus c here. So we will have s squared plus 4 like this okay so all we need to do is find out a b and c but here i think we need to add this up so it has the same form as this right so we will have it like this so i will have a multiplied by s squared plus 4 
and then plus okay and i have ps plus c multiplied by s plus 5.2 okay and the denominator is the same as this so i will have s plus 5.2 and then we will have s squared plus okay now let's check this numerator and this numerator here they are the same right okay we can use that fact right we have the coefficient of s squared is equal to zero here because this is there is no s squared here so we will have i think let's use blue here we will have a s squared plus b s squared so i will have a plus b the quadratic term that will equal to zero good and then what can we do next i think let's find out the s term the S term came from, I think there is no S term came from this term. And for this term, I think we will have 5.2B. Okay, I will have 5.2B. And then plus C, because this C is multiplied by S, right? So I will have plus C. That will equal to zero. And then what else? what else i have the constant term the constant term only came from here so i will have 5.2 c oh that 4a is also produce constant term so i will have 4a plus 5.2 c i think yeah 5.2 c and that will equal to 38 okay we got this three equation with three variables i think the fastest way to do it is just use calculator so let's set up here and equation solver is number five and three variables is number two good and a plus b so i will have one one plus zero c right so i will have zero and then here we will have a zero good and for this one i will have 0a plus 5.2b so i'll have 5.2 and then plus 1 okay and that will equal to 0 and then here i will have for a 0b and then 5.2c and that will equal to 38.8 so what can we have is a is equal to a is equal to 1.25 so i'll have 1.25 so and then i will have b b is minus 1.25 and then what is c c is 6.5 so I will have 6.5. Okay, let's plug it into this part here. So we will have the final ys is equal to a. A is 1.25 divided by s plus 5.2 and then plus ps or so b is minus 1.25s and then plus 6.5 divided by s squared plus 4. Okay, I think this is the final ys and we just need to convert it back to the time domain. Okay, let's do exactly that. Okay, let's get back to this and i think we need to make this term here uh similar to what is in the laplace transform table and remember we also have e to the minus at which is you should always remember 
So I will have p to the minus a p. The Laplace transform of it is 1 over s plus a. This you should always remember this. Uh, okay, now let's make it like that. So I will have y over s. And then that will equal to 1.25. And then 1 over s plus 5.2. So this is in this form here, and then I will have s divided by s squared plus 4. So that will be this form here. So I will have minus 1.25 multiplied by s divided by s squared plus 4. And then plus, remember, this is sine, so I will have this need to be divided by Two. So I can rewrite it like this. So I will have 3.25 and multiplied by 2 over s squared plus 4. That's good. <coughs> so, uh, so all of them is in this form here. So I will have y t is equal to 1.25 e to the minus 5.2 t and then minus 1.25 cosine of 2 t and then plus 3.25 sine of 2 t i think that's all for this problem Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.